welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I will be filming a kind of like pack with me kind of camping video because me and my boyfriend Scott are actually going camping this weekend as I'm filming this video and I need to be prepared because if we are not prepared for this camping trip, we will most likely forget something and then it will be screwed because if it is something important like some toilet roll for example uh, what are we going to wipe our bums with <laughs> i should have chose a different example for that but I, I couldn't really think of one but you get the gist i just want to organize this kind of a camping situation because we do have a lot of stuff to bring with us and it's best to be organized because there's only going to be two of us camping so we need to remember everything because it's very important because when you go camping you literally need to bring everything with you like camping chairs, food, snacks, kitcheny bits for cooking with, everything like scissors, knives, toilet roll, kitchen roll, towels, toothbrushes, like everything you basically need at home to live with. You need to bring camping so I might be a bit like muddled up and a bit stressed with all this stuff but and that's gonna be the fun of the video because you get to see me stress out a little bit and I tried to pack everything and I am gonna be packing my clothes as well because I need clothes to go camping with so I might as well do that while I'm here as well but before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it'll be nice to get to a like goal of 15 likes on this video and also leave a comment if you guys would like to see some camping vlogs from me and Scott because I will be vlogging camping so if you want to see some camping content then make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment and also subscribe and without further ado let's get on with the video as you guys can see I've got two bags full of stuff for camping because it's not a joke this is how much stuff you need I'm going to show you what we've bought because sometimes it's kind of good to show what you've bought and if any of you guys come in and you maybe forgot to bring something or put something on your list this might remind you about something I've also got a bottle of still water as well we did go to Tesco's and add stuff all our stuff so I bought this bottled water from Tesco for 17p because it's always handy to have some bottled water um, for camping because you know, yeah. I feel as if I'm making this into like a camping hall, but to be honest, this is what we're gonna need to bring with us. So, in Asda, where to even start? We bought crisps, pans, chocolate, sweets, like everything you need. I'm gonna show you the pans because, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna show you. So, <laughs> we bought some pans in Asda, a pack of three because Scott thought that he only had one pan but when we got to his house he realised he had about three pans for camping so we kind of wasted that money a little bit but it's fine because these will be good for boiling water and stuff and these actually clamp together to make a really big noise but he bought a pack of three and we actually got a bit of money off because it was missing a lid so good bargains from Asda but yeah the pans are probably essential for heating up water, cooking food in and stuff, so yeah. We've got those and, oh my god, make such a bad noise. Kitchen roll, because we'll need some for like drying stuff and all that. Toilet roll, because we need that as well. Then, we've got some crisps. I've got some waxes for camping. He got some Seabrook lamb and mint. He loves lamb, so we've got them. Oh yeah, and I think in Asda, it must have spent around £37. Like, you did buy pans for £7.50 as well, so that kind of like, it did make up for the, a lot of the money. But £37, only for snacks, by the way, we will be buying fresh food at local Aldi. So, God knows how much we're going to spend there, but it's fine. We need to enjoy ourselves, it's not it's stress about the money. Then... We bought a lot of hot chocolates because it is going to be called a camping, even though it is summertime, it's still cold. I've not even told you guys where we're going camping. We're basically going to a campsite called Balak OD, which is in, oh, what's it called again? The Newton Stewart in Scotland. We've never been there before. 
This is our second time camping. The first time we went camping, it was in Keswick in the Lake District. The first time we're going up to Scotland because Scott actually found this campsite and it's more of like a communal kind of campsite because the people can play like the music with the instruments, the like guitars and stuff, which is really nice. So hopefully it'll be very cool to go there. But anyway, they bought a lot of hot chocolates. I actually brought these from the holiday home from Shelton and of my Galaxy. They then got four for a pound the Cadbury hot chocolates and a three for a pound for these option ones. Now these are actually really nice compared to like your Cadbury and your Galaxy. The chocolate orange ones especially. So we're going to be having a lot of hot drinks while we're there, and I'm not a coffee lover, so. I'll stopped up because Scott will most likely be having like teas and coffees as well but I'll just be having these all day. Then we bought a lot of sweet stuff but you've got to think when you go camping you don't eat the healthiest as well so we've got some chocolate orange shank buttons because these are actually unreal. If you've never tried them you need to get them. The Marvelous Creations because this is some of the nicest chocolate. I actually used to hate this as a kid. But now I love it so much and it's like the bigger bar as well. This is 150 for the bigger bar. Some cooler ones. I think we got a four for a pound on sweets and stuff as well. So then the drumstick sweets. We've got some the digestives. I can't even say that. Digestives. There we go. Yeah, by the way, my stutter is coming back a bit and I'm kind of worrying about it because I'm a bit like, why is it coming back all of a sudden? But it's fine. The wine gums because these are amazing. The black ones are my favourite. They don't even argue with me. They are the best ones in there. If you disagree with me, leave it in the comments. But the black the wine gums are the best. <laughs> then, we kind of bought some low calorie kind of like a cake bars and stuff. I don't know why, but I always want to try these chocolate ones. The 5190 calorie, but It'll be good for if you've had too much sweet stuff and someone to have something if not as many calories in it. So you might have a diet day one day. The more sweets, honestly. And then we've got some pot noodles because I don't often have them. Like, I don't mind them. I would only really have them in times of need and stuff or like if I've really craved one. But because we're going camping, these will be probably what we'll need. So we bought the three pound noodles and one super noodle. So we got a chicken one. I got a chicken korma pot noodle. I've never seen this flavour before, but I love a chicken korma, so I'll probably enjoy that. I also got a sticky barbecue rib one, and also a pulled pork one as well. So we've got like a variation of flavours. And pot noodles, it will be good for helping us keep warm and the easy food all you have to do is really heat some water up and then bam you're done it's ready it'll put more of a snack kind of thing it, it won't be like a meal kind of food because like it don't really fill you up like who else agrees the pond does not fill you up at all they've got some rice pudding because he likes it a fun fact i've never actually tried this so yeah then i've got some jellies because i've actually not had jelly in years but i thought because they were going camping, I'll have some. Did you have to put these in the fridge or not? Maybe you do, but I've got a cherry bill quail tart, the one, because I've never tried before. The 10 calories. I'm not there's someone who tracks my calories, by the way, but it's just because I wanted to try this flavour. And then I've also got Hartley's jelly strawberry flavour in like a little pot as well. They do look very liquidy, and I'm kind of worried in case I've either melted them. Oh, they'd be in the fridge, but oh well, it's fine, it, it'll be alright. If I die of jelly poisoning or something, then you'll know why. There's some cherry jellies, and then some rich teas. I don't even, I don't even remember Scott picking these up, because I can put, he must have sneakily put these in the, um, the, what's it called, in the trolley. But anyway, I, I'm going to show you all the sweet stuff we've got here. Look how bad that is, guys. Look at all that. Can you see that? Oh my god, that's terrible. But you know what? It's fine. Like, if we're going camping, for God's sake, like, give us a break, you know? Right. And now on to the second bag. I promise I will pack everything up in a minute. But 
And for more kind of food and meals, I've got a couple of tins of beans from Tesco's because these are actually some of the nicest beans. Tesco beans and Branston beans are some of the best. The Heinz beans are the Heinz. The Heinz beans are absolutely disgusting, but these are just another level, and they're like a fifty p a fifty p a tin or something. So they're very good. I've got them. You've got some hot dogs. I used some of hot dogs as a kid. I like them now, but they're not as much as I used to like them as a kid, obviously. But the Winnaker hot dogs, seven in there. Um, they used to be good for having like on the barbecue and stuff, and an easy food again. Just in case we need some. Then we've got some the wipes for like the toilet and stuff, just cleaning ourselves because you know we need some tin foil for wrapping food up and stuff and and keeping the heat in. You know it's always handy to have some tin foil. And Scott actually got a mini pastel chopping board. It was actually a pound from being there. How good is that? And it falls out. Yeah, this would be good for cutting food up and because it folds up, and it's really small. It's really portable and it won't really take. It won't really take much space up, so we've got a new chopping board and it's really cute. How cute is that? Then we've got some napkins because you also need some napkins. Now, how cute are these strawberry ones? Now, these were a pound, I think, for 30, so that's really good. But yeah, they're very summery and hopefully it won't be raining as much because Scott has actually been checking the weather and it's been quite rainy lately, but hopefully it'll change to sunny because it has been really warm today as I'm filming this video. We also got some fire lighters from B&M for one ninety nine because it's always handy to have them to start a fire up with. Some dental wipes for cleaning, like antibacterial, like the cleaning splitties up with, uh, cleaning down surfaces and and equipment and stuff, you know. We've got some reusable plates for either eating on or placing the food on while we're cooking. It, it's handy to have some, the Scott does actually have some metal plates but I think it'd be handy to have some like reusable plates as well because yeah. And it's from Poundland, four for a pound so that's really good again. Poundland actually did have some really good barbecue bits in and this is part of the barbecue range. It was a pound obviously but it's some tongs. And I've had to tie them together. It was like this little like the wiry thing but yeah these are going to be good for like picking food up with and stuff and it's always handy to have some so that's what we've got there then i bought some washing up liquid from tesco it's a rhubarb and rose one gonna need it oh and by the way scott does have the tent at his house the washing up bowls sleeping bags i'll be bringing my own pillows and he'll bring his own pillows he'll also be bringing his duvet and i'll be bringing my own blanket with me as well so i'll have to remember that um but i'm bringing more toiletries and stuff because i'm a woman and they always expect the woman to bring in all the stuff like that because that's just what we do. But in Asda, I bought toothpaste, how exciting! Alberto Balsam, the raspberry shampoo and shower gel. Hopefully, Scott will appreciate the nice smelling shampoo because he uses like a two in one anti dandruff, but at least his hair will actually smell They're very nice and and fruity you know so that's what we've got there these were 95 p each so i think that's pretty good and they're actually decent shampoo and conditioners then i got a dry shampoo very very cherry just in case i can't bother to wash my hair one night oh my god it just smelled very nice and that was 120 or something then the washing up sponges scourers from tesco exciting some bin bags because these are essential when you go camping you believe it or not because you can use these to put the you can use these to put your rubbish in if you've got any dirty clothes if your sleeping bags have got the muddy or like any towels have got a bit damp and stuff you put all these in here i need to attend for 120 from home bargains so you'll need these when you go camping because they are essential they're probably one of the most important items you need to put on your camping list and then also got a shower gel Original sauce, the rhubarb and raspberry because it's one of the nicest smelling ones. Oh, it smells beautiful. And it's kind of like a theme going on here. It's quite pink. <laughs> Typical Alex had to go for pink stuff. 
So finally, I decided to buy a 5-in-1 tool. So firstly, it's got a mini screwdriver on it. It's from Panland by the way. It's got uh, like a cork, a, a kind of bottle opener which I think is really cool. It's also got a lot of other features. Let me just show you if I can open them. A knife. I'll be very careful mind. It is a very blunt knife but still it's always handy to have. And then, where is this? Oh, I don't even know what this is, you know. This is a little bottle opener, like a little like a bottle opener, yeah. Like how cool is that little feature? And I think it may have something on the bottom. Let me just open it. Oh yeah, and then another bottle opener. So it has two bottle openers, which I think is quite cool because if you just want to like open two bottles at once, you can. Look at that. <laughs> to be honest, a Pavlan camping the merchandise is actually not bad. And I brought my own scissors with me because you need scissors and in Poundland as well we've got some reusable cutlery because it's actually better to bring a reusable because then you can take them again all you have to do is wash them so yeah if this is everything I've got so far I'm now going to pack it up I'm going to show you the camping chairs we've got as well in a minute I'll actually like show you them properly and you can see what they're like but yeah this is what we've got Scott has obviously got more of like the gas heater, the tent and stuff as I said before and he'll be bringing more the bigger stuff but I'll be bringing like all the all the food bits and, and toilet roll and all the boring stuff so yeah but I'm going to show you the camping chairs now because they were a bit pricey for what they are well they're not actually pricey for what they are but they were sold at like the camping chairs were sold out in B&M, Argos, where else were they sold out, Tesco, Asda they were sold out, like everywhere they sent out of, of camping chairs so everyone must have the same idea of going camping but yeah, let's get ready for the packing because I need to get my life sorted camping chair time, now please excuse the state of my room but because we never brought any camping chairs the last time we went camping you thought it was a good idea to bring them this time because we did kind of struggle and because we're going for three nights camping obviously going to need them for more comfort and stuff and like otherwise it'll be it'll be sitting pretty much on the ground because you can literally feel every bump on the ground when you're sitting down so it's nice to have some camping chairs and I'm going to move these more I'll move those the noisy things out of the way. Anyway, because the camping chairs are sold out everywhere, we decided to look in more of like a camping shop and we went to Trespass. The camping chairs were £17.99 each. Not pricey compared to like your Tesco and your Asda and stuff, but they are really good quality. They come with really nice bags and this is the pinky one and then Scott has got the blue one but I'm not going to open these just because there's no point in opening two. They come in some really good camping bags. Then, these are like the fold out ones. They've got a drinks holder and everything. All you do is open it out and then, bam, done. These are so comfortable. I love them so much. It has a drinks holder in it and it's so comfortable as well like I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to have a nap in here you'll be able to sit by the fire you know I'll be able to eat my food if I could watch a film you know this is the life also please remind me to bring some power banks because I'll most I'll most likely forget and I'll have to charge them up because they're not really gonna have anywhere to charge our phones I really should have bought a few more from Poundland today but I didn't even think about it to be honest because my brain was not working obviously but I'm definitely going to have to search the house for about 10,000 power banks but yeah anyway this is so nice and if you want to look for some decent camping chairs have a look in Trespass we actually used our student a discount because the students were pretty, they're pretty much not anymore because I have I finished college now but we did manage to get 10% off so that's good I'm back everybody 
Yeah, my sister actually gave me her power bank, so at least I've got the ones there as well. And that's also fully charged as well, so I don't even have to charge that. But it's now time for packing. I'm going to divide everything into like the bits because I want to keep all the food together and then I want to keep like all the this stuff kind of together. So, firstly, a um, nest bag. I'm just going to put everything in. So, this, all of all this stuff, toiletries as well. I'll have to be careful with like the cutlery and scissors because I don't want to make a hole in the bag. So, I have to try and I'm fend that from happening. Sponges. Just all this stuff. If I can't, if I can't fit all of the food in the other bag, can I do it? You know, it's not easy to go in here. But it's getting quite full already. Oof. Scott's car is going to be full. But it's good because the last time we went camping in his old car, and he's a lot smaller compared to his, car, his new car now. So there's going to be more space in the car to be able to put things in, I hope, anyway. It better be. Then, just these. They've just got a good pack for a pack of toilet roll. Right. That is, wow, that is full. There are toilets at the campsite, however, I don't know if they're going to be like well looked after, if they're going to have enough toilet roll. You know, I'm, I'm quite extra. I like to bring my own stuff in case. I, I like my mum, I'm very organised, so. You know, it's good to be organised and be able to know what you've got. Now, this is where it all gets a bit... So, you've got a lot of food, so tin tin first. We don't, just, we don't want to push everything, because that would not be a good idea at all. This is all going in. And pot noodles. Everything we've bought is pretty, like, smallish, so... It, it shouldn't take too much space. The bed is looking a bit of a pigsty, but to be honest, this is what I'm going to have to bring with me because we don't really know what the weather's going to be like. And I just want to kind of be prepared for the worst. Also for a bit of sun as well. And I'm also bringing comfy clothes because you can't not bring any comfy clothes. So I'm bringing my lovely blue the new look joggers because I wore these to go travelling down the Cheltenham Wave and oh my god they are so so super comfortable to wear. I've also brought some warmer PJs because it will be very warm in camping. I was kind of deciding bringing PJ shorts but I'm not too sure if it's going to be warm enough. Like I'll wear these type of PJs all year round apart from when it's like a heat wave or something but you know they're very very comfortable and back they do provide they're some of the best pajamas so the only thing is these do take up a lot of like space in the hold all but you know it's fine like if I'm gonna need them for camping then it's what I've got to do I've got to forfeit all the space for <laughs> these PJs anyway and now I have brought a lot of underwear and a couple of pairs of fluffy socks because you do need for camping. You probably won't need them as much in the summertime if it's like warmer, but it's always good to have a couple of pairs with you. Um, and I do actually suffer with really bad circulation in my feet, especially in my big toe. I think it's because I do have a very big toe, so it does get very cold easily. So I've always got to have the warm feet and I'm always wearing socks and stuff so they are definitely essential for my feet and because I may be at the time of month where it's all happening if you know what I mean like in my period and stuff so I'm kind of bringing a lot of, a lot of underwear because you never know what might happen the girls know the struggles of having a period and if it happens during camping, I do not I want to be short of underwear. So I'm bringing a lot of my period underwear. I'm not going to lie. It's just like my, all my black underwear really. I do have like a few nicer pieces to bring it with me just in case I'm not on. But I think I may be. I mean, it is a little bit late so I'm kind of worried a bit. But anyway, so I'm all prepared for that. I've also brought 
I've got socks with me just in case I need some spare to chain chain. The only thing I don't have is a pair of wellies because I've not had them for years. One of me has like one or two pairs but it'd also be too small for me now. Now for clothes, I brought a variation of clothes because I'm not too sure what I need. And the weather is looking cold and then warmer again so I'm bringing like a, a range of clothes. So I'm bringing these black pants because it's comfortable easy to wear and yeah it's comfort on the black. I'm bringing the Zara jeans in case I want to um, have a bit of you know uh, what's it called a bit there's something warmer on me. I'm then bringing a pair of, a pair of denim shorts because I don't actually know if it's going to be warm enough or not to wear shorts that's what I'm bringing there my gym pants as well because I'll probably most like the, the way these are going on a the walk then I'll bring in my sports bra to kind of match with that because I like wearing that plus I don't really have to wear a bra because I've got that on but it's a long sleeved top that I'm bringing with me because it's always handy because it was like to be cold I'm not going to bring these with me anymore or should I because they are old I feel as if I have a lot of clothes and I think I might brought too much. Cause this is the only thing about going camping. Like, what do you wear really? I'll bring these in case I need to change into something because you never know. I might need them. Then, how many tops am I bringing? I, I'm, I, I, I need to calm down a bit. I'm bringing this, but like this brownie bodysuit, the t-shirt because it's really comfortable. It's It'll keep me warm, it's an extra small. Bring in that. Then I'm bringing this Sarah top in case it is a bit warmer on one day. It most likely will not wear it. I've not worn it in ages and I want to wear it, but we will see. Then this PLT bodysuit because it'll go with stuff. And then I'm bringing a sweatshirt and a hoodie because I also need these to keep warm with. I'm bringing my Tommy jeans one from TK Maxx. I most likely just wear this on the way down anyway, so there's no need to pack it. And then I'm bringing my Puma hoodie because I've not had this in, well, I've not, I've not worn it in ages and I most likely need it. So here is what I'm packing. I don't I think my toiletries are going to, yeah, my toiletries are not going to fit in my hold all now. But anyway, at least all my clothes are in there. I've managed to find a mini hot water bottle. This were really, it's super really handy because we'll actually need one for camping and I don't actually think I've ever used this before so it's going to come in handy. Good little size for camping as well so I found this and then I've also got a throw of me. I actually chucked the medical print a throw out and I wish I never because it was like huge and it would be really good for camping but anyway I'm taking this one because it's still a good size it's obviously like a lot smaller but it's one of my old ones and it'll be good for camping because it's nice and soft and it's got his obviously going to bring in his duvet but in case we need a bit of like an extra kind of layer we will have this with us. I've also got some old trains with me as well because most likely need some. I'm going to look for wellies in the cupboard downstairs but I don't think there is any. But I think I'm going to end this kind of the camping packing video here because I pretty much got everything packed now. I feel more organised compared to what I was an hour ago, so it's good progress. I've nearly ticked everything off. From, I've nearly ticked everything off my list. What I need to bring next is just my pillow, a toothbrush, tea towels, and hair dryer, and that's it pretty much. So I'm nearly done now. I feel a lot better for packing. If this video has maybe helped you guys in some way, if you maybe think about going camping or I've helped you make you remember something, then make sure to leave it a thumbs up, a comment down below, and I will and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.